Hey, what's up guys? Everything Blind here and today we're going to be doing a walkthrough on the Flexi Happy Typing uh, third party app for the iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. So let's jump right into it. Alrighty. Um, in the previous video I was telling uh, you guys that I was going to give you a full walkthrough how I had everything set up on the Flexi app to work better and perfect. Um, so you guys can get everything out of the uh, Flexi app that um, for your experience with Flexi. And this is the video here. So we're going to go on and open up the app, which is oh, Flexi. Flexi. We're going to go ahead and open. Flexi. Switch to Flexi. Tap switch to fle switch to Flexi. Tap and hold Grove Spindle with Meridians. Try it now. Tap switch to Flexi. Switch to Flexi. Tap it. Try it. Okay, switch to Flex. Tap. Try it now. Text field. Cap Q. Next keyboard. Emoji. Next Gotta keyboard. Go switch, I guess, Next so it'll keyboard. Actually work right. Flexi. Your letter. Your keypad. Menu. Button. Alrighty, here we go. You saw off with your menu. Theme. But menu. Button. Go to menu. Menu. Close. Button. Personalize. Go into personalize. Personalization. Back button. Personalization. Personalize Flexi to your writing style. Facebook. And now, of course, you have your Facebook. Updated on personalize from Gmail. Your Gmail. Twit. Update. Reset user. Reset user data. And Twitter. Those there, you can have it set up. I guess you can... Um, use it to send from i i guess from flexi to facebook twitter or your gmail it depends on how your typing style is i guess on there they'll know it on the uh, flexi app and um let's go to the next one here all right your dictionary is not much you really have to worry about really um but we'll go into it anyway so you guys can be able to hear exactly what's in dictionary and what I have checked, what I don't have checked, but I don't think I have anything really checked in dictionary at all or anything written down, but this is where you can put in words that um, Flexi does not know. You can put them in here and it'll be basically like a smart, um, a smart shortcut. So we'll go into here. Dictionary, back button. Dictionary, edit, button, enter a new word. Add, add, dimmed, button. So you can add a new word into the dictionary that um, Flexi does not know, and that'll be a little easier for you to type. In this case, if you run across that word again, later down the line, it's already in the Flexi dictionary. Badges is not really too much you have to worry about. I didn't do anything in badges, so you can pass over badges. Tutorial. Uh, tutorial, which pretty much will tell you how to, make, how to make the app work and all that stuff, but... If you've already used Flexi in the past, um, I would say bypass this. If you didn't um, ever use Flexi before, I would definitely jump in there to the uh, tutorial and um, it could show you like some of the key features on how to be able to use it. Settings. Okay, we're going to settings. Settings, back button, back button. Now this is where all the settings are that I um, was able to change and things I didn't change, but you guys will hear through voiceover. Settings, heading, advanced settings, detail, button. Okay, in advanced settings, we'll go into there. I did go into advanced settings for a few things. Settings, back button, setting, settings, fast delete, switch button, on. Fast delete is a good thing to have. So if you, you know, mess up on a whole sentence and you want to rewrite it, Fast delete is very good, so make sure that's on. Deletes whole words with a swipe left. Side buttons, switch button, on. Side buttons are just mostly like, uh, I guess, hotkeys. Um, but I'll let Siri uh, voiceover tell you on that one. Adds extra buttons in landscape iPhone or portrait, iPad, orientation. Magic button, globe, button. Change the function of the button to the left of the space bar. And you want it under globe so you can be able to change from 
like if you want to be able to use a regular hardware keyboard on the iPhone, um, that globe is there. It's a little easier to be able to switch back and forth from uh, Flexi and the hardware keyboard. Emoji skin tone color detail button. The emoji skin color detail, um, you can go in there. The buttons are not labeled. Um, but if you go to the, well, I'll let you out. We'll go into it right now and I'll show you what I'm talking settings. about here. Back settings, back button. Okay. We are in Select settings. the default skin tone color for emoji. The default color skin tone for emoji. Button. So right now these one, two, button. three, button. four, button. five. Button. Reset. Button. Yeah. These five buttons are not labeled, but if you check one and go to the end of the, uh, list here. Reset. Boys head, girls head, man's head, woman's head, older man, older woman. So that's without no skin tone at all. Reset. If that's that's Button. for the uh, reset. If you decide you wanted a, say, a light skin tone, you go to Button. Select the Button. The first one, double tap, and then go down to the bottom. Boys head with light skin tone, girls head with light skin tone, man's head with light skin tone, woman's head with light skin tone. Older man with light skin tone. Oh. So that way, every like guy, woman, boy, kid, officer, handshake, fist, thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever, will be under that one same skin tone. And you know, on the uh, hardware keyboard emojis, where you can change it from light skin tone, dark skin tone, um, tan skin tone, you know. You can change them. It's here will keep all of their emojis the exact same color skin tone, which is really cool. Next it says show all accents. Um, that I don't have on. Um, I really don't know what that is. Let's see what it is. I actually, I passed by that. Show all possible accented characters. Show all possible accented characters. That is up to you if you want that on or off. Show language and space bar. Switch button on. Language and space bar, you want that on. Display the current language in the space bar after the keyboard appears. Display home or out. Switch button off. Oh, oh, I don't know what that what it said at the very end, but let's go to the description. Display the colorful background of the middle row of keys. Basically, if you can see um, color, if you have enough sight to be able to see certain colors, It'll have, I guess, a different color behind each row of letters, which is pretty cool, but that's something that I really don't have to worry about, and if you don't want it, you can leave that off. Display the colorful background of the middle row of keys. All right, now we are at the Switch button on. Auto capitalization, you want to have that on, so when you're doing new sentences, you don't have to worry about hitting the uh, caps lock all the time. It'll automatically will put in a capital on a name, building, company, um, new line, whatever. So that's a good thing to have. Start new sentences with a capital letter. Auto correction. Switch button on. There is the auto correction, and make sure that is on. And then your flexi happy typing experience will be ten times better, and you won't have to worry about missing letters and it saying whatever it wants to say um, and you don't really have to swipe down unless you want the word to change for your own personal choice um, then you can do that yourself corrects and completes your words yeah uh, self-explanatory corrects and get your words correctly so that's always a good thing to have double space for punctuation switch button on make sure you have that button on for double uh, taps for punctuation Double space for punctuation. Or double space, excuse Switch me. button. On. A period is inserted whenever you insert two spaces in a row. Keyboard clicks. Switch button. On. Yes, make sure you have keyboard clicks on. Then you know that your um, your app is working very well and you are actually typing and just not typing on nothing. Um, I made sure that was on. I Make sure you turn it off and then turn it back on just to make sure... Um, that that would be absolutely on. A click sound whenever you tap a key. Swipe sounds, switch button, on. Swipe sounds, you wanna keep that on. 
A swoosh sound whenever you swipe. Keyboard font. System font bold. Button. And font, like if you're low vision and you do have a little bit of vision, you can change your fonts from bold. And they have a few other options. Not very many options, but they do have some pretty good fonts for you for your own choice. All right, next we have the... Voice feedback. Switch button. Off. Voice feedback. Uh, I should have had that on. On. There. Now I have it on. I don't know why I turned it off. But um, make sure that's on and you'll be able to get back like your letters or your words or whatever you're typing so you know, you know, um, what letter you're starting off on if you need to backspace and put it in another letter. So you'll have that. Announces the words after you type them. Ah, it'll announce the words after you type them. Okay, so it's not like um, off the off the regular um, voiceover. It's a little different. It, that's 10 times better. So it basically does it in words only. Which you actually you have that in hardware. So that's a good thing to have. Case sensitive layout. Switch button. Off. Case sensitive layout. Um, like I said, that's up to your choice. If you want that on or off, I have mine's off. It won't affect you at any cost, really. It's just case sensitive. Disable to show all capital letters on the keypad. Show suggestions. Switch button. On. Suggestions. Make sure you have that on. Disable to hide suggestions, even if autocorrect is on. Disable to hide suggestions, even if auto... All right, and basically that is the, um, the settings for that, and we'll go through the others. All right, and last on the list is languages, languages. and we're going to go into here. Back button. And let's Back make button. sure we're at the top of the list there, okay. And um, voiceover, take it away. Language, heading, edit, button, selected, English, United States. QWERTY button. Yes, and that QWERTY, you want to keep QWERTY. Um, I tried to see if I, if it would be able to change, and it does not change. So just make sure that it says QWERTY keyboard. That's just the better keyboard uh, for you to use. Tip, swipe left or right on the space bar to change language. Download other languages, heading, Albanian. And then of course it has all your other languages, Albanian, um, Dutch and all those other kind of um, languages that you can use for your selection. All right, guys, we're at the main menu right now, and we're going to go over and look at the three options that they have on the main screen here. Theme button. All right, themes are pretty much, you know, like a background, give it a little different feel. Uh, the app will probably run a little different, but I cannot figure out where the... Um, how to be able to check the themes. I think there's a drop down box. I think the screen starts, will show different, um, like a holiday theme, a Halloween theme probably or something like that. But it's a lot of visual things. So I don't really don't worry too much about the theme. Extensions, button. The extensions, I don't know nothing about that one. Um, that's something new to me on extensions. Size, button. And your size, well, if you're visually impaired, um, you would be in the settings where, where it was saying um, your uh, font. That's where you would go for your uh, size of your font and all that would be in the settings. But uh, let's see if there's anything after that. Oh, that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, click that like button. Subscribe to my YouTube channel right there. Subscribe, 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 guys. You guys are have been a big help to my YouTube channel especially out there in the blind community. If there is anything else you'd like me to do a tutorial on or a review on, let me know down in the comment section below and click that button right up above there, right up above me, where it says notify me. And that way, when I do new updated videos on YouTube, you guys will be the very first ones that will get every single video that I will put up on everything blind and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video which will be next Friday. Peace!